I am Mr. Adams, and I am a music teacher in Hastings, Nebraska, and this is going to be week three of fifth grade music. Now, today's goal is to be able to play and create fifth grade rhythms. We're going to be doing that with a song called Hot Potato, and it'll have three different instrument parts. Those three different instrument parts are going to require you to have three different instruments and to be able to play them without messing up. I shouldn't hear you, so it'll be all right. Second goal is to be able to draw some fifth grade rhythms, and we're going to do that on the board. It's going to need a pencil and a paper, or you could have a marker, crayon, uh, sidewalk chalk. Ooh, that would be fancy. So we're going to start with singing our first song, and that is Hot Potato. No, we're not talking about um, Quiet Ball like you're wanting to think, but it goes like this. Hot potato, pass it on. Hot potato, pass it on. Hot potato, pass it on. Get rid of the hot potato. Hot potato, pass it on. Hot potato, pass it on. Hot potato, pass it on. Get rid of the hot potato. Were you able to keep the steady beat? I have a metronome going so it's easier to know. Mm -hmm. Part two is with a cowbell. Cowbell part goes ti 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 ta ta ti 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 ta ta. You probably don't have a cowbell, but do you have something that sounds metallic-y? I hope so. Hot potato, pass it on. Hot potato, pass it on. Hot potato, pass it on, get rid of the hot potato. Hot potato, pass it on, hot potato, pass it on. Hot potato, pass it on, get rid of the hot potato. Part one is with a drum, a hand drum. It should have a higher sound than the low one. Should go. is playing in the background. Hot potato, pass it on. Hot potato, pass it on. Hot potato, pass it on. Get rid of the hot potato. All right, now that we know part one, we know part two, and we know part three, I'm going to let you choose which part you want to play this next turn. You want to do part one, part two, or part three. I'm going to play all three parts with the piano playing in the background. second goal is to be able to draw some fifth grade rhythms. Now, fifth grade rhythms are a little bit trickier because they have a dotted quarter note. The dotted quarter note is our tom. Our tom is a longer note than just one. It's actually like one and a half. I know. It's like a ta plus a t smooshed together. When we draw measures today, it's going to have uh, four counts. You're going to have a ta is one, T, T is one, ticka, ticka is one, two is two, a three is three. Um, we are going to have two measures. So there's going to be a bar line in the middle. So you'll have four counts on this side. And you'll have four counts on this side. And then you'll have a double bar line here, which means the end. That means the end of the song. I would like you to have at least one um, fifth grade rhythm, the Tom T rhythm on one of the sides. It doesn't have to be on both. You can if you want. Uh, I'm going to start off by drawing a tom, t, ta, ta. 
So I've got my tom T in there. I've got my dotted quarter and my eighth note. And then I'm going to fancy it up over here. T, T, ta, ticka, ticka. Yeah, a rest. Yeah, nice. Now you could, if you want to, you could throw in a T, ticka. The T ticka is still only worth one count, okay? The ta is one count, T T is one count, ticka ticka is one count, the single rest is one count. Um, tom T together, when you're drawing, try not to get confused, the tom T is actually uh, two counts combined, because this is one and a half plus a half. And you guys have been doing fractions in your fifth grade class, so one and a half plus half is two. Now, it could be cheesy. A whole note is worth four counts. You could do a whole note on one of the sides, but you have to have at least a tom T, so you can't do a whole note on both sides. You could do a whole rest if you really feel fancy. That's our, it's worth four uh, counts of rest. And there we go. Um, that wraps up our fifth grade uh, drawing. I hope that you guys drew about four of these um, and you should be able to clap and say them to your family. That would be great. So I'm gonna wrap up for today. I hope you enjoyed the video editing part of the hot potato. Uh, we'll see if it turned out all right. 